Uh, I guess the difference is I'm a little bit older than when I was the last time I, I shot the ball. Uh, game's a little bit different. My teammates a little bit different. Obviously, the outcome tonight was a little different than, than what I wanted. Um. Now we're talking about Michael Jordan's comeback. You know, it entailed more than just putting on a pair of sneakers and donning a new uniform. He had to shed about 35 pounds and polish three years of rust. When talking about Michael Jordan, the most common negative part of his career that people talk about his is years with the Washington Wizards. But according to some of his peers, MJ was arguably a better player in those years. Here's why. He was a little bit more dangerous when he was with the Wizards. He, he didn't have the athleticism that we were used to seeing MJ have. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I, I, I'm with Bonzi, his angles were more, a little bit more sharp, you know. You wasn't going to move him. He was a strong two guard, a uh, two, three guard. You wasn't going to just move him lightly. And his, his shot became more dangerous. You know, he, he became more solid as, as that veteran player when his years in Washington, as the question stated. Um, you know, it was like one of them don't leave him open. But the only thing he was missing was, yeah. And my, Michael comes over and he said, I want the ball right there the rest of the game and don't take me out till I tell you. And so that's, that's fine by me. So with two minutes to go in the game, he gives me the sign like, that's enough. I take him out of the game, 51 points at age 41. He came back the next game with 46. And he looked at me and he said, I told you I could still play. If you sit and just watch Wizards Jordan and see how incredible he was from 38 to 40 years old, the way he scored the ball, the way he was able to create his shots from the post, from the elbow, off one dribble, off two dribbles, stop pull up, um, how physical he was in the post, how he was able to create contact and still get to the basket. He wasn't athletic like he was, but mm -hmm. still being able to you know, finish over guys. It was so incredible because it was such a master of art, mm -hmm. how simple he just made the game. It's just playing off, off jab steps, pump fakes, and I just I used to watch every bit of Wizards Jordan because it was like if he doing this at this age, let me figure out how to master it, it, these things that he doing because you don't see everybody doing it. Everybody want to do the dribble, 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 double step back, all that. And it's mm -hmm. like nah, let me make the game simple and, and and kill these spots and angles and 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 using my body on a fadeaway either shoulder. So that's one like thing that I took from. Mike Wizards Mike because he was incredible. If you really watch him, he was incredible, man. Yeah. On on a bad knee. He wasn't as fast, but he knew how to get to his spot and he was so deceptive and mm -hmm. he just knew how to he just knew angles and he still killed us. Mike was a motherfucker though, both both times. Cause he was still talking that shit. Yeah, still talking still shit. Still talking that shit. He was still skilled. Mm-hmm. And I had to guard that motherfucker. Motherfucker damn gave us 40. Yeah, yeah. He was <laughs> too, he was too dribbling. You know, I ain't I ain't played the three in a minute. I got probably 39 of that shit. Damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He averaged 20 points a game at the age of 40 on one leg because his, his knee was messed up, and he, and he played 82 games. At the age of 40 on one leg and played all 82 games. 